just released with Andre Wade. Once again, just come to reminisce about some things. Talk about some TDC today. But foremost, first of all, I just want to say thank you all to my viewers and my subscribers. And pray peace upon y'all families. And that the virus hasn't come to y'all rooftops. I just want to talk about, hey, if it's showing my progress on my work over there, going on on my just release. Construction is going on. Construction is going on. And uh, like I say, I pray peace upon y'all uh, families today and those who are incarcerated. You know that mean? It's a nice day, a beautiful day. I was thinking about the times when I was in, in, in the fields and how the field bosses, I, I talk about the field bosses a lot because they were they weren't like the uh the officers inside the cells the the cell blocks that worked inside the building the field bosses you know they they, they thought they was real cowboys you know they had their pistols on their side and their rifles and and they had their squads the squads the, 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 that's what it's called squads of inmates one hole two hole three hole one, one, and they, and, and you know what was amazing about the squads was is that, like one, one hole, they worked it harder than any hole of the fields, one hole and two hole, because they were more like close custody inmates, and you, you seen a lot of fights in them squads. You see the dust, the dust just being there, the dust would be in there. You know there was a fight going on over there. Look out, boss! Look out, boss! Can I get me one? I, I that one. You better get him and don't let him get you. Cause if he gets you, we gonna get you. We gonna get both of y'all. Y'all go at it. And then was the old days on the old red brick units. The 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 old units where they had the the big line forces. And you you worked it two halves. They fed you real good. You you ate every day as if it was Christmas, every day, cause they was gonna work you. They was gonna work you, and they would holler out one hole, two hole, three hole, yeah, and that's just little country boys, little men on big horses. Thought they was John Wayne's and some Clint Eastwood's boys. That's what they thought they was. And I, I never forget, you know, you'd be hitting on it. You'd be hitting on it. You'd be hitting on it. And they had, they had a count off. You know, they'd be like, one, two, three, four step. One, two, three, four step. And then and, and you had to be on time. Because if you wasn't on time and you got 30 people, 30 inmates, 40, 50 inmates, with the whole school, with these aggies in the hand, with the aggies in the hand, and they would tell you one, two, three, four step. And you had to flip it over. The boss would call, flip it over. And when they and they wanted all to flip over at one time on time, on time. I'll never, I'll never forget. See if you was a fat boy, they would they would ride the fat boys because them fat boys, you know, they they be slow, they be lagging behind, and they'd be like. Look out, look out there, hombre. Look out there, hombre. Hey, you there with all that ass. 
Boy, I know you can hit on it better than that. All that ass you got, you know, there was jokes among the field bosses. The field bosses. The field bosses was have you rolling. They were having rolling, and they was they was all right officers, right? They was real cool officers because they would allow you to, if you if you if, if you was in an area of fruits, they would allow you to to pick the fruits as long as you clean out the, everything. And they allow you to take some in, which was was against the rules. If you caught, if you animal, let's say you caught a raccoon, they will allow you to skin that raccoon out there at work and bring that raccoon in inside the building. The field bosses, the field bosses, everybody loved the field boss. We all, we used to have a field boss. They called him Big Bird. Big old white boy. Big old white boy. He was a sergeant. Big bird. Talk more cold trash to them inmates. But one thing about the bosses in the uh, fields. They respected the inmates. They respected the inmates. Highly. Because those inmates was those who, who, who kept the fields intact. They kept the fields the land around the compound looking good, looking good. They, 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 they kept it looking good. The field bosses. I give the respect to the field bosses because, you know, uh, during the holiday time, the field bosses would bring holiday things to their workers, to their workers. And, you, and you know, they was, they was a different breed of officers from the building officers. See, you can have an officer that works the buildings. They ain't, they're not going to bring it like that. They will, they will bring things and give them to the SSIs. But the field bosses was a special breed of officers inside of TDC. Because it wasn't, it, it was TDC then. It wasn't TDCJ. It's a difference. TDCJ is what it is today. Prison of today, a hospital to me, because so many in so many inmates was is on site pills, all on some kind of medication in that form that altered their minds. And seeing back then, back in the days, they didn't try to try to so much educate you. They tried to work you, and they kept you physical intact. They kept you physical intact in them days. To keep the, the 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 landscape looking nice, keep the landscape looking nice. Prison was different in them days than they are today. But the field bosses, the field bosses, a special breed of officers, a, a a totally different breed. I say, get that boy! I say, pull that thing back! Pull it back, boy! On their horses. The field bosses. You got a, you got a comment? Come here. It said, tell us some stories about Tango Blast. Tango Blast. Now, Tango Blast was something new to, to me. Because I was a, uh, I had been locked up. Like I said, I did 20 something years. And so Tango Blast came more so in the like, in, in the 2000s. In the 2000s, because uh, uh, the Mexican, the Mexican uh, uh, mafia, uh, they they ran the prisons back then, you know, and, and so Tongo Blast, I had opportunity. I had, matter of fact, I I, I had a, a couple sellers that was Tongo Blast, and then you know the Tongo Blast guys, they was they was real cool, and they was real laid back, like the ones out of Austin and and Houston and Dallas. You know they had that they had that flavor. You know they and 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 they're gonna get out there. They're gonna get out there. But what's so amazing? What was so amazing about the Tongo Blast? They was all short. They was all short men, but they was some dangerous men. The Tongo Blast. Yeah, I did some time with a lot of Tongo Blast. I would be a lot of time on a huge unit with them. Uh, I did some time on. Uh, uh, Robinson unit with them, uh, and you know, 
I did a lot of time with a lot of Tongo Blast guys. I, like I said, I had sellers, you know, that was a Tongo Blast out of Fort Worth uh, and, and, and uh, uh, Waco. Uh, I did a lot of time with a lot of uh, Tongo Blasts. And yeah, they held their ground because I believe when I was on McConnell unit, matter of fact, when I was on McConnell unit, Tongo Blast ran the unit. They ran the unit. They Everything that was illegal, and the things that was coming in Tongo Blast, they, uh, they held their ground. They held their ground. Yeah. Yeah. I, I give a lot of respect to Tongo Blast because they had a lot of order. They had a lot of order in their organization. They just they just wasn't ignorant, you know, guys. They 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 they, they made it where the younger Tongo Blast guys had a lot of was in school, uh doing a lot of stuff other than just trying to being rides. See, back in the 80s, when you, when you, like I said, we had the Mexican mafia, and, 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 and they was more rugged. They was more rugged. They was more of like trying to control it with force and everything. The uh, Tongo Blast had a finesseness about themselves. They had a, fine a finesseness. If you see the Tongo Blast guys, and, and you look at their dress code, and you look at they, they look, you know, they, 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 they gold rim glasses, they gold teeps, you know, and they fresh cuts and fades, you know. They had a different look than the Mexican mafia. The Mexican mafia had the old, the old Mexico look, the old, you know, with the bandin, the bandano, you know, and then all them, the Stacey Adams, you know, they, they was a different breed. And so when the Tongo Blast came in, they took over. Tongo Blast came in and took over, and they just really was spread around, yes. I, I can speak on that because I, I was around it. I was around it. And, you know, uh, it, 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 it was a good thing. It was a good thing. Being being affiliated among them of the game. Because, like I said, I did some years on, my, on McConnell Union. And, then, like I say, Tongo Blad, it was a lot of them over there. It was a lot of them over there. And, and they, I, I, you know, I can say some names, but, I, you know, I wouldn't. But it was a lot of if you was on McConnell unit and you know what I'm you know it was a lot of Tongo blasts on there and they had flavor. They had flavor. Giving respect to the Tongo blasts. I, I give them that respect. Cause they respected they respected the Crips, they respected the bloods, they respected the other gangs, they even respected neutrons. So I, I can give thumbs up to the Tongo blasts. This is Andre Wade, which just released. I'll be back with something else.